All right, good afternoon, everyone. A large scale comprehensive investigation <laughs> into what exactly went down Saturday night. And that investigation still continues. Some questioning why this wasn't on law enforcement's radar. Chief Jacone says they did receive one tip from San Antonio PD, but no time or location was given. These groups are using private and, encrypt and encrypted chat applications and direct messages. And many times our intelligence folks have no visibility at all into the communications. This led to the difficulty in, in identifying these groups in advance. The first 911 call came in about 9 p.m. Videos shared with Fox 7 show cars doing donuts in the South Lamar Barton Springs intersection. Fireworks going off and some people even catching on fire. 41 APD patrol units responded to that initial incident alone. The car clubs continue to travel to several other areas of the city and it appears that they finally stopped their activity at just before 4 a.m. Multiple 911 calls came in throughout the night. The longest wait time, 27 minutes. According to the chief, that Saturday from 9 to 9.30 p.m., compared to the same time window the weekend prior, roughly four times the number of calls came in with 75% of the normal staff to field them. This is obviously unacceptable. And we have been working on the call taking issue for quite some time. We've made strides and are getting more applicants than at, than at any time in recent history, but it takes time to hire them and to train them. As of Tuesday, one person has been arrested by DPS, six by APD, seven total facing charges that include evading arrest, drug possession, and unlawful carrying of weapons. My strong message to those individuals who want to do this, don't do it. And even as we head into Spring Festival, which is coming up in a few weeks. Um, we are fully staffed from a security perspective for Spring Festival and South by Southwest, and we will have teams deployed um, should this type of activity occur. 